Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to get the videos as soon as they upload. YouTube, what up? Welcome back to another Pounds 978 custom video. And right now I want to show you Clone Hunter Spider-Man. Actually, let me fix it. My bad. Clone Hunter Spider-Man. Quick modification I made with the Peter Parker figure. A really cool custom, one of my favorites. I might even become Clone Hunter one day. Oh, you didn't know I look just like this figure right here. Clone Hunter is me. I am the Clone Hunter Spider-Man and I'm coming to get you. First, I gotta find Kane. I think he's over in this direction. <laughs> Had a brown jacket for a long time. I don't have a blue mask, it's black, but honestly, this is supposed to be a black mask. The only reason why it's blue is because the shading in comics. You know how comic books do. Blacks usually get blue for lighting. But blue looks great on this. I didn't even mean to paint it the exact same color as the pants. It just so happened to come out that way. And I think it looks way better. The background, sorry about that. This is something I got for my son. It's like a sticker collection, a Marvel sticker collection. I thought it would look pretty cool for a review. So I'm gonna use it for this one. It doesn't look too bad. It looks better up close. That way you don't see the illusion broken when you see the white ground. Like this, it looks kind of better, but anyway. Clone Hunt the Spider-Man. If you want to make yourself one of these, all you need is a retro card Peter Parker with a symbiote Spider-Man head or head cast, some fist hands, and some web shooters. I haven't put them on yet. I'm gonna put them on as soon as I stretch the ones that I have out because they belong on May Parker, which is a smaller figure. So I gotta stretch those out. I don't have any more that came with the Ben Riley figure. If you want me to remove this background and do it on a plain white, we could also do that. This jacket isn't an accurate representation to what he wears in the comics, but it is close enough. However, I did decide to add an emblem in the back and shout out to One Oak Customs who sent me some decals a while ago and finally put a one to two to use recently. And this one goes in the back. I might not use it, but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to put a decal on. This is Peter Parker. Clone Hunter Spider-Man. The reason why he's called Clone Hunter is there was a time when Kane, Peter Parker's clone, was on a hunt and killing any bad guy who he thought had it out for Mary Jane. He had a vision where he saw people come after and kill Mary Jane, so he tried to prevent it as much as possible and kill people. And when he killed people, he left his mark on every victim, and his mark happened to be Peter's fingerprints because they're clones. So the cops found out, arrested Peter. Peter went to jail for a little bit, but then Ben Riley, who's another clone of Peter Parker, decided to take his place in jail for a little bit so Peter can hunt down the person responsible. So really quick, as fast as he could, he went home, put on some clothes, grabbed the black mask and gloves from his symbiote suit and dashed off to find his clone. Later, Kane showed the judge that it was him who did all the killings by proving he can mark people with his hands and the judge deemed Kane guilty. Peter Parker, Clone Hunter, Spider-Man on the run and running as fast as possible to catch his deranged clone, Kane. He does catch him eventually. I did make this one time before in my early days and I used what I think is a perfect jacket in comparison to this one. I used the Superboy, um, I think it was DC Collectibles. I don't know which line it was, but it was the Superboy. Here's the picture. But that is indeed the best jacket for Clone Hunter and Ricochet. Hasbro needs to give us a rock star jacket like that. Thought I'd compare two Spider-Men, even though they're both Peter Parker, just body-wise and shape-wise, to show you that this Peter Parker body could work for a Clone Hunter Spider-Man. I wouldn't have been mad if Hasbro would have just tossed a head and a pair of hands in the Peter Parker box to turn him into Clone Hunter. That would have been a great two-for-one. Again, there's so many opportunities for two-for-ones that Hasbro could do. Nonetheless, Peter Parker, I would say, alone is a good buy because a lot of people were asking for a Peter Parker figure. But I'm just saying. The same thing I said with the Reed Richards figure. If you would have added a bombastic head, it would have been a two-for-one, an amazing two-for-one. Someone asked me to make them a Clone Hunter head, decided to add some hands to it, and then when I tried it on the figure I was like damn it looks pretty good so I decided to make my own for myself because this is gonna go to my custom collection you guys know I'm collecting and saving all my mods and customs for 2021 so go on give it a shot make yourself a clone hunter spider-man out of the retro pack Peter Parker let me know what you think about this modification feel free to give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this of course subscribe and click that notification bell and I will see you in the next video but if you choose to subscribe, you the man Yes, you, everyone below in the comments Yes, you too, thank you very much For showing me love, who knew It was ironic how we think out the box For you too, right? Sing, 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 sing.